Okay, hey, it's Mega here. Welcome to uh, the final uh, preparation video before we start reassembling the KLX 140 with the uh, big bore parts. Um, I'm your host, Hades and Mega here. And uh, so we're going to do some gasket scraping. That's what we're going to be doing. So this is the block right here, or the bottom end of the, uh, the KLX 140 motor. Um, and for the most part, the gasket came off cleanly. Um, the gasket stuck to the cylinder and didn't stick to the block, so, so we got lucky there. That means there's less work for us to do. <laughs> um, so how we're going to do this is I'm going to stuff a rag down here and hopefully none of those particles will get in there. And we're gonna, this is like the most tedious part of engine work, scraping gaskets, man, I, I hate it. Hate it, but it's got to be done. All right. Um, so I've got two tools here and a couple more if we need them. Uh, we've got the uh, Harbor Freight gasket scraper here, and I've got uh, just a uh, it's a uh, uh, razor blade with a you know a little handle on it. And both of these work great. Um, sometimes one works better than the other. Um, and then we have Scotch Brite pads. And this guy. So I want to see if we can use this. If that doesn't work, we'll use this, I guess. That will make it a lot easier, but it kind of scratches the surface. So, so let's, we're going to try the uh, Harbor Freight gasket scraper here. Let's see how well this guy does. So I, I put a rag down here so it'll catch the stuff that's in there. And then we can blow it off before we take it off. There it goes. Me luck. So we just got to make sure that surface is nice and clean and free of debris. Let's see the stuff is coming off. Okay, so here I can feel this. This uh, so the engine's put together by there's like a left case and there's a right case, and and you can feel that right here. We want to we want to try to scrape away from the um, from the inside of the engine, obviously. This isn't really working too well. It's it's taking something off though. So I'm just working the back side here, trying to scrape towards the outside of the bore. Mark in the back here. Good thing there's not too much surface to work with. It is working now. I want to try and not get it in the threads. Pretty good. We still looks like we still might have to hit it up with the Scotch Brite disc pad, but we'll get the majority of the crud off with the gasket scraper. We want to clean the gasket scraper every once in a while. I hate doing this; it's so tedious. You know? We didn't have to do this on a cylinder head because it wasn't, you know, there wasn't any really gasket residue left over. But this one does have little bits and pieces of it because it uses a, a fibrous uh, gasket material. But you got it? That's how it works. So I probably want to scrape this side from this end right here so stuff comes out the other way. It's pretty, it is pretty, it is coming out pretty good though. Now this surface is not, I'm going to say it's super critical that you need it, that it needs to be sealed because it doesn't really hold any compression in. The, the one that holds all the compression in is the head gasket, so that's the important one. That's the one that will really affect your bike. If, uh, oops. 
affect your mic if um, it's blown or anything, you know. This one just kind of just, I don't know, it keeps the oil out. Yeah, I guess I guess if this went bad, you'd get a whole lot of oil pissing out all over the place, so. Also, I want to point out the chain is right here, so you gotta be careful with that. Try not to get it. Try not to get it so it'll fall in there. I have it. I have it lanyard. It's like tied to the uh, to the bike, so so it will never fall down there. So that's good. At some point, we're gonna have to move the chain out of the way a little bit. This stuff did fall into the engine. I'm sure it wouldn't be too bad. That's why you have oil filters, but you'll probably see a bunch of crap in the oil filter the next time we change it. We'll definitely want to change the oil filter pretty soon. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed this video up and I'll let you know how it goes. Actually, I'm gonna try the. Uh, I'm gonna try to use the uh, the razor blade. Let's try the razor blade out. Start scratching it real bad, then I'll uh, stop using it. Yeah, the surface is pretty good. It's pretty smooth. Okay, I'm gonna take this dowel out too so we can kind of do the thing better. Just make sure we don't lose it. We can move the we can move this uh, connect connecting rod out of the way uh, when we get there, I guess. But let's leave it here for now. I feel that this is better. Sometimes the other one is better, sometimes this one's better. So. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this out, shake it around a little bit to get some of that gasket material off of it. I'm going to move the connecting rod the other direction. Stuff this down here. And then we're going to work the other side. I feel like I've gotten the big gasket stuff out. Um, if we want to get the rest of the stuff out, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to, have to use the Scotch Bright disc. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, all right, I think that's the best we can do with that tool. Uh, we're just going to use the scotch right disc for the rest of it. All right. Okay, so I wish we had uh, one of them angle die grinders, but we don't. I wish we could use the Dremel, but I don't have a scotch right disc tool for that. So I have to come in from the top here and work it. Here it goes. So we're just going to do this side right here first. to get anything down there too so
Okay, we're pretty much done. Uh, I'm just, what I'm gonna do is uh, just kind of wipe down the surface a little bit. Just try to get some any kind of oils that got down on it. That turned out pretty well. It's pretty clean in there still. Ugh, some crud got on the on the cam chain guide. Let's see if I can get the. I think I missed a little spot here too, so let me hit that up again. Let's see if I can get this in there and light that up. A little. Okay, I'm gonna hit that. Hit these corners up real quick. Like I said, the um, the base gasket I don't think really seals much in other than oil. So, but that would be kind of annoying to have an oil leak. So let's not let's do it properly. Okay, that should be good. Uh, I still see, still see a little bit out here. Let's see if we can get there real quick. Okay, just wipe that down real quick. Let's take a look, closer right, look so at it. Katie's Omega's handiwork there. It's too bright. Okay. It's much cleaner than it was before. Um, yeah, that that disc really does the trick, man. There's still a little bit out here. Still see a little bit. Eh, that's okay. I think it's fine. All right, so uh, so that's it. We're done. Uh, we're done prepping all the parts for uh, re reassembly, and um, yeah, so that ends the the engine um, engine part preparation vlogs. Um, so I think I'm gonna call that it for tonight, and tomorrow we will go reassemble this puppy. Can't wait. Hopefully we can get it done tomorrow I think because I, I got a race next weekend and we still got to break this engine in as if we can get it running again so <laughs> okay all right here's the out so that's it uh, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover all this stuff up again so dust doesn't get on it and then um, tomorrow tomorrow we'll put the put the cylinder and the cylinder head and the piston and all that good stuff so yeah the next step the next step would be to install the um, the piston and then make sure the rings are clocked right and then install the cylinder then install the cylinder head, then bolt that all together. Uh, also, I did forget to put this guy back. Let's make sure we got all of these. Okay. It's in there. And, uh, yeah. So I hope this chain... I hope I didn't loosen the chain too much. Um, oh, here it goes. Yeah, don't let the chain get too loose, man. Um... Hopefully it hasn't come off with a sprocket, is what I'm saying. I think it's still on there. It looks like it's still... Oh, no, it's not. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I can, I can see in there. But it's not on the sprocket anymore. Because I don't think it is. I'm going to have to take a look at that. So we can get it back on there. Uh, it probably shifted, too, so the mark that I left probably won't work anymore. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll pick it up tomorrow. Here's me out.